Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel online today. So in this video today, I would like to follow up with the lesson about uh, characteristic of polynomial function that I have shown you in my previous video. Before I get into the lesson today, please let me remind you about my website. If you have a chance, uh, please visit my website, Ch check it out to see what's going on over there. It's my mathteaching.ca I wrote on the bar. So um, you also can visit and check it out my math course websites. And if um, you know somebody uh, interested in learning math, in uh, details and deep level, uh, you can recommend it my math websites. Um, you can click on the, I think the icon on my YouTube channel, you can get, check it out on my website. Um, it's mathcourses-online.teachable.com. And Teachable is my school, my website of the, of my school for the mathemat uh, mathematics courses online. And I would like to serve honor student across the global. It's not just student in BC, Canada, or in the United States. Any, anyone who interested in learning math in the English curriculum, you can register to my math courses online um, it's just like you attend the international school, but the, the, the cost uh, free for the international school is a lot more expensive and you have to travel to the building to learn. Um, you can get the certificate from my math courses online as well. Okay, so um, let me talk about sketching the polynomial function on the board here. So on the board, we have sketch function f of x equal x plus one times x plus five times x minus one to power two. So this function is already in the factor forms. You don't have to use a synthetic division or long division to factor it down. It designed in the way it makes us easy to understand how to sketch it. So that is the first step we will learn. Next step, we will given the function without the factor forms, and we have to find the zeros or x intercept by factoring it out. But this question already designed in this way, so you don't have to factor. Now let's see on my board here, I am talking about the example and I have stars and ends. And I draw the Kuhnet read where I divide this is quadrant one and this is quadrant two. So this we call a quadrant, quadrant. So we have quadrant one and quadrant two and quadrant three and quadrant four. You know that if you get the polynomial, you have to start your pen somewhere, right? From left to right. You never write, draw it from right to left, but you draw from left to right. And therefore you have to know you start the pen in the quadrant three here and going up, or you start the pen on the second quadrant here and going down. So that's my point when we're talking about this. Noticing that when we sketch the polynomial function, for example, the leading coefficient here is 2x to power 3. So I just draw a bunch of this to demonstrate for the example, not for sketching this one. Um, I haven't talked about the sketching of this function yet. I'm just talking some example in here to guide you to understanding, right? So if our co coefficient, um, if the, if the Leading power is power three. We know that we have an odd function. And if 
we imagine that our act is very large number negative infinity this way on the side, right? And if you have a negative infinity and you power three, then of course it's present in the negative side, negative infinity, because it's odd power. So you have the negative side and the y calculate based on the x, right? So our y function based on the x, the x coordinate. So if our x is getting very large on the left side of this axis, right? Then your power three is still very big. It's still negative, very big, but it's on the negative side. And doesn't matter what number in front here, two or one or three or four, doesn't, doesn't make any difference, right? So you have a negative, it means your function will start from the negative. Your y function will start down here. So it will start from the quadrant three down here. And because this is the odd function, you know that one, it go up and go down and go across, then it end will have to be the same direction. So if you start at the, um, at the, at the negative, then ending will have to be different, right? Because it's odd function. Remember, we say one up, one down, or one down, one up. The direction of the end's behavior change uh, opposite in odd function. So you know that if it's stuck from the quadrant three, so, so it's negative, our y, our y, it's the y function, right? Our y from here, negative, right? Infinity, then it go, you go up and then you go across and it go back with this end behavior. So it start from quadrant three, but it end up at quadrant one. So therefore I put the positive sign here for art function. Now let's look at this one. So that's the first example. Let's say if we have a second example, we have minus three x to the power five as the leading coefficient. So again, this is also an art function. So this also an art function, art, because we have a power to five. So if we start our negative, act is negative infinity down this way, we power five is still negative. However, because the sign in front, the bracket here, we have a negative here in front. So this will change the scenario will make this negative time negative become positive. So we start by a positive y instead of a negative y. So our pen for the second one will not start from here, but will start from here instead in the quadrant two, because we have x is negative very large number to the power five is still negative infinity, but we have a negative in front. And therefore this negative affect this, we make it become a positive. So our Y will be a positive infinity up here because we're talking about the Y function. So our Y function Fx will start from here. And again, we have an odd function. So if our direction is here, it means it start from the quadrant two but it ended up with the um, it will end it up with the quadrant four because they have to be opposite direction, right? So it could be something like this, and then it going down like that. So that will be stuck with the positive, but n will be a uh, in a negative quadrant. It will go down this way because one up, one down direction. That's for the odd function. So now let's talking about the even function. So let me write this. Now let's talk about the even function. So if we have an even function, let's say two x to power square. So we our leading coefficient is uh, leading power is square. Then 
if you start from negative x very large, right? You substitute the x here is negative infinity. You power it, it will become positive. And here we have a positive number in front. It means our y is still positive infinity. So our y start from quadrant two. So it start from positive and it, it will have the same direction because this is a parabola, right? So it have the same direction. So n at positive as well. Now, if we have a leading coefficient, power is x to power four. So again, this is an even function. And this is an even function, right? So they, they have to have the same direction. If they start at negative, they end at negative. If they start at positive, they end at positive. These psi will be exactly the same. So let's talk about minus x to the power four. If you substitute the x here is negative infinity because we always start from this left side of the x axis, right? So if x is negative this way, you power four, which is make it become positive, right? make it become positive because you have an even power. However, you have a negative in front. So this negative will affect this positive inside here and change this become negative. So your stack will be negative and your n will be negative as well. So we will start from down here at the quadrant three and then go up and go down and go up whatever, but have to end it up with the downward as well, because these have to be the same direction for the even power. So this is the example I would like to show you before we sketching that function on the top. So let me erase this and we continue with our lesson. So now you understand why I show you all of this example. So let's get right into the sketching the function. So before we sketch this, right? Um, let's talk about the start and ends first. Now let's count how many leading coefficients we have. What is the highest power we have in here? Highest degree, right? Highest degree degree and power the same, right? So we have power one, power one for this. So x to power one times x to power one is x to power two. Time with x to power two is x to power four. So we know we have an even f of x, even function. Now, if we start, we don't have any negative sign in front of the bracket, right? So we know that our stock will be on the way from the left side here, negative infinity, if x is negative infinity. If x is negative infinity, we substitute in here, right? And we power for it, it become a huge big positive infinity. So our stack will be positive infinity. And our ends, because the even function, so got to be ends the same direction, positive infinity. So that's the first thing we notice. Secondly, what else we need to sketch the function? Yesterday, we were talking about the multiplicity, multiplicity, right? And our multiplicity could be multiplicity one, multiplicity two, like a parabola shape, and multiplicity three. So let's talking about the multiplicity. So for x to plus one, we have the root of the function, right? Um, x equal minus one. And for that multiplicity, for this number, when x equal minus one, right? x equal minus one, this is a multiplicity one, right? So this is my multiplicity, okay? Multiplicity. Now for x plus five, which is 
x will be equal minus five, right? The sign will be opposite with that. When you set it equal zero and you sum for x, the x intercept here will be opposite side with that number. So x will be equal minus five, and this is multi-stability one as well. Now for x to minus one, x will be equal one, and this multi-stability is two. So this is second thing we notice. What else we noticed? The x intercept and the y intercept. These are the x intercept, right? x equal minus one, x equal minus five, x equal one is, they are the x intercept. What else do we notice? We will look for the y intercept so that we can have a better sketching, more, um, more accurate, right? So what is the y intercept? Our y intercept is based on, based on x equals zero. So if you set the x equals zero into this equation, what happened? What happened to the y? Let's see. So this becomes zero. It means the first practice will be number one. X here is zero, then the second practice is number five. X here is zero, so the third bracket is minus one to the power two. And all of this number multiply together, right? So one to the power two is positive. Positive one times five is five, five times one is five. So the y intercept is five. The x is zero and y intercept is five. So after gathering all of this information already, we be able to sketch the graph more easily. And let me um, dry it down so that we have room so that we can sketch this, right? So I'm going to have to, um, so I'm going to put here y intercept equal zero and five. And for the act intercept, I can erase all of this because you look at here, you know what is act intercept, right? I can set here is x equal minus one. Here is x equal minus five. And here is x equal one. So we can erase all of this. And let's put in y intercept is zero and five. So now I'm going to start sketching the function. I think on my next five, so maybe I should move this over here a little bit. Okay, so the y intercept is zero and five. So the y intercept at five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Let's say our y intercept right here. And the x intercept, I'm gonna mark the x intercept, right? So this is zero at the origin. Um, make one here and minus one this way. So x equal minus one, and this is minus two. And so we have the point right here, x equal minus one. The function will across this one. And x equal one right here. So this is two and this is one. The function will across this one here, x equal one. Okay. So this function have a highest degree of x to the power four. So technically it should have a four root. It means four x intercept. However, depend on the multiplicity, right, of the function. So one root or two root would join into one instead. So let's take a look at it. Now we start from positive quadrant, right, which is quadrant two right here. 
because we know that at x getting very large, we have a high gauss degree function. So the y have to be positive this way. So we start from here. And if you look at the moon needs stability, this is moon needs stability of the power two at the x equal one. So it means at this point, we have a moon needs stability of two. But at x minus one, we have moon needs stability of one. So let's go from here, go across here, right? Um, the y-intercept is, um, y-intercept should be positive, that's right. And we have an x equal minus five, oh, we're missing that, sorry. So we have minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five this way. So we know the function will across minus five. So we will start our pen from here and go to here. And they both one municipality. So we start our pen from here, we go down here, we go across this way. Go across last. And then at one, we have a municipality of two. And we are across the y intercept at five, right? We are across that. And we have a municipality of two here, like a parabola shape. And the function go like this. So that is how we sketch the polynomial function without the roughing calculator. So that's how, how it looked like for our function, for this function x plus one times x plus five times x minus one to power two. That's how we sketch it. Now, I'm going to check with you using the roughing calculator. Now, sometimes we might not be able to wrap on the calculator because the window, we have to change or something like that, right? But let's try it. Um, so I'm looking the function x plus one time x plus phi times x minus one and to the power square. Okay, so this is the function I key in the calculator. Now let's draft it. And you can see the shape is very much look like the, the shape on the bar, I shape it, right? Um, except that because the window, so it make it even though cutting down here, we're not seeing it, right? Um, but let's see if I change the window. You know what, I'm not gonna bother because if I change the window here, when we key in the second function, we might have to re, uh, uh, re reset it again. So I should leave it like that, but you can see the shape is exactly the shape I draw on the bar, it across the y intercept at phi and it go in both up direction. So exactly that's what we draw. Okay, so that's how we get that polynomial function. Now I am going to do the second draft. Now for the second draft, maybe I try a little bit quicker because I explained on the concept already, right? So for the second draft, I will go a little bit quicker. Um, so let first, let's find out what is the highest degree of our function here. So we have x1 times x1 is x2. Actually, x square, right? x1 times x square is x3. x3 times x to the power 3, so we have x to the power 6. So we have a highest degree of x to the power 6, which is, again, the even function as well. So we know the direction will be exactly the same. Now, where do we start? Do we start down in the quadrant 
three here, or we start from quadrant two? Let's see. Um, you have, um, okay, we have a negative accent here, right? We have a negative in front of the accent there. So if you multiply this x squared with this x3, they're both positive, right? They're both positive time together. However, the x here have a negative in front. So you will time this with a negative x. So positive time negative turn out to be a um, negative, right? A negative. So if we put in negative infinity for the x star from here, and we power six, of course it's, it becomes positive. But because we have a negative down here, so our graph will start from below, which is will start from negative quadrant. And this, if we if we talk about the quadrant, we will say this is quadrant three. Some people want to identify it in by the quadrant instead of say negative, positive like that, right? But that is the same. So quadrant three, negative, we start our pen from here. Let's see what is the root, the function going through. So here, if you set x equal minus, six minus x equal zero, right? You move the x over, six equal positive x. So we know the root here is going to the six positive, and here is four and two. So let me mark, let's say if I mark this is two, four, and six. So we know one root will go to this, because x equals six. Here, x equal minus four, right? The side will be opposite with that. So x equal minus four, which is we have minus two here, minus four here, minus six here. So x will be go to minus four. And x will go to two. Here the x equal two. So another point will go to here. Now let's talk about the y intercept. What is the y intercept for this function? To find the y intercept, all what we do is we set the x is zero. So the first bracket we have is six. If the x here becomes zero, right? Second bracket will be four to power two is 16, right? So remember we have a power two here, right? Four to power two is 16. The third bracket will be minus two to power three is minus eight. So let's find out how much is the y-intercept. So six times 16 times a, the y-intercept here equals 768. What the size should be, this is negative, so this should be negative. So we know the, the y-intercept is on the way down here, very large number. Let's make the scale easy so we can, we can calculate, right? So I'm gonna make a hundred scale, right? So I'm gonna say this is minus a hundred, um, minus 200, minus 300, minus 400, minus 500, Minus 600, minus 700. So this is minus 700. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And minus 600, uh, 768. So let's say down here, below here, somewhere. Right? So we know the y intercept will go through this. Now let's see where do we start. We start from this quadrant and we start from negative, right? Um, yeah, because of this negative sign. And the municipality one for this first bracket, which is x equals six. So here I'm gonna mark the municipality, right? So that we keep track of it. At x equals four, our municipality is um, two right, municipality two, and x equal minus four. 
And as act equal six, municipality one. At act equal two, right here, we have a municipality three. So I'm gonna mark them. So this number in the bracket I mark here is stand for the municipality, right? So we can shape the, the function accordingly, right? So this is municipality two, and we start from our quadrant three from down here. So we'll go this and go to this. So our shape of the function looks something like this, right? We'll go to this with municipality two. So look like a parabola, right? And then it go across this number and we have a six even function. Yeah, so it start from there, it go up here. And this is municipality three. Okay. So it's something like this. Narrow it a little bit so it looks like evenly a little bit. Right, so it go through the y-intercept here. And then here it municipality tree, so it go up. So it will be up like this, touch this one, right? Touch this axis and expand a little bit. Remember municipality tree like function, expand like something like this. So curve something like this. Expand and then um, at six, it go to municipality one. So the function will go expand and change direction. So it go up. Expand and change direction. So it go up again. But because we have an even function and the starting and ending should be the same, so it should somewhere, it's bent this way. Now we don't care about how high, if we want, we can block a number in figure it out, right? But it's, it should be some shape like this. And then maybe I make it go up a little bit higher. So it go up and it go down again. And that's how the function look like. So now, based on the moon visibility, so at x equal minus four, we have moon visibility two. This so look like a parabola shape. It go to the y-intercept at three hundred minus three hundred sixty-eight. It go up to the x equal two is moon visibility three. Right? This look like that and it go down across municipality one. And they ended up with the same direction. So start at quadrant three and end at quadrant four, negative. So start and end. And that's why yesterday I introduced to you the whole video about the, uh, the municipality of the RAP uh, polynomial function, just in order to show you a little bit more more it easier when we um, we get into the sketching of the polynomial function. So this video um, is just showing you how to sketch two even function. And in the next video, I will show you another video. I will talk about the a sketching of the odd function, and we will not given the factor form like this, right? This is easier 
a lot easier because we are given the factor forms already, so it's easy. But in our next task, we will do both factor uh, to find the root of the function and uh, sketching it using the moon, moon multiplicity, uh, multiplicity to sketch it like this. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, please give me a support if you like my teaching and visit my mathteaching.ca website. And uh, if you would like to register to my math course online, you will have access to all the important materials for you to sketch the function, to practice how sketching the function. And I like this, it's like math is fun. It's not always boring because as you go up to the higher and higher level, it's, 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 it's more fun rather than <laughs> just we do the divide and multiply as we are um, at the, the lower level. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy my video and uh, um, please um, give, hit subscribe and give me a thumb if you like it. And thank you for watching. So bye for now. I will see you in the next video.